What's up, my soul family and my baddies? Coming to you with another intuitive message. And the message I got is life after death. Now, this may be for a selective few, but I'm getting the energy of once you see it, you can't unsee it. Your life is beginning to make sense right now. I know lately you might have been feeling majorly tested by people in the physical, but it was really a test from God that brought you to this realization of who you really are. This is definitely a time to celebrate, but a time to be humble. The power that you have right now is unshakable, but it definitely can be taken if it's used abusively. Now, there's a saying called new levels, new devils. Once you have conquered the small stuff, and the small stuff could be the people you've known all your life, could be family, you know, people you grew up with. But once you enter a new level, you have new devils. So the energy or what I just heard was rising from the ashes. So it's more of a scorpionic energy. You may be dealing with a Scorpio. You may have Scorpio in your chart. This is not a time to be too proud or egotistic. Just remain loyal. Remain humble. Because you do not want to miss the opportunity that you're getting ready to be rewarded with. It could be in finances. It can be a position. It could be a raise. It could be in love. It can be whatever. You do not want to mess this up due to anything that you're dealing with internally. Those were just tests. You do not want... Let me tell you something. The energy I'm feeling is like a Capricorn energy here because I'm talking about the world is yours. The world is yours. So I'm going to leave you with this quote. Embrace who you were born to be in silence, but continue to love one another with grace. If this message resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe so you can see more of my videos. I'm going to leave a couple of links down in the description box below. But I just want to tell you, my soul, family, and my baddies, I love you. Remember now, remain humble. It's going to be people, places, things. It's going to try to give you one. Let's see, that is the devil. He want to try you one last time. He want to put fear in you one last time. He want to hurt you one last time. Just to see how connected you are with God. And while you are doing that, recognize your surroundings.